So I think so many people are gonna think I'm using this title for clickbait, but I'm not. Every single word of it is true. I'm suffering from a rare disease called Rolex fatigue. And the only cure for it, as prescribed by my doctor, is to spend unreal amounts of time obsessing over any watch that doesn't don a coronet. But for real, I'm finding myself gravitating to different sporty models at the moment, and I don't think I'm going to purchase another Rolex for a while now. But this Zin EZM3F is really doing it for me. Zin is one of those watch brands that I knew had a cult following. I kind of liked their watches and the way they looked, but I wasn't racing out to go get one. I liked the way they looked, I just didn't get it. I didn't get why people loved them so much. But after being hands-on with this watch for the last couple of weeks, I can honestly say, I get it. And to the Zen cult, I think I'm ready to join. Where do I apply? This watch is weird, tactical, highly legible, and I absolutely love it. So let's talk about the Zen EZM. Hi, my name is Brittany, and on this channel, we just talk about watches in a hopefully not pretentious and joyful way. Watches have brought me so much joy, so I hope this channel is just an explosion of watch awesomeness. And as for the not pretentious part, I'm working on that. I, I don't always get it every time, but I'm a work in progress, so be patient with me. Now, this is the first time I've spent some real time with a Zen. It was one of those watch brands I saw a lot on social media, and I knew people really enjoyed them. But I don't know, I just never found myself feeling like I needed to have one or racing out to get one, you know? But after having this one in and wearing it the past couple of weeks, I am officially a believer. So I have this watch on loan from my lovely friend at Mr. Watch Addict on Instagram. We met at Red Bar a couple of weeks ago and he was really kind and let me borrow this. So thank you so, so much. Okay guys, let's talk Zin. I would describe this watch as very German. It's a no nonsense tool watch, but even though it has no frills, every detail about this watch feels very thought out and intentional from the color choices, even down to the crown placement. I'd describe it as tactical minimal. One of the most striking things about this watch is the crown placement on the left-hand side. So my first instinct was to believe this was a watch for left-handed people, but it isn't. Well, left-handed people can still wear it. I'm not saying that. But the crown was intentionally put on the opposite side so it would not come into contact with your hand or get in the way, giving you greater freedom of movement and better protection for the crown. The EZM in the name stands for Einsatzmesser or mission timer in English and is the perfect companion for you and your missions. It has served me extremely well on my 2 a.m. missions to go get cheese from the fridge and even my more top secret missions to get whatever wine is on special at Tesco. Looking at some of the specifications of the EZM 3F, it has a case size of 41 millimeters with a small wrist friendly lug to lug of 47 millimeters and 11.7 millimeters thick. Now the 11 millimeters thickness is actually really special. So Zinn has a habit of making watches that are kind of thick boys, the chonky boys. But this wear is really nice on the wrist and it genuinely has been a joy to wear. Here it is on my five and a half inch wrist versus my husband's six and a half inch wrist. As per usual, I think it looks perfect on his wrist and it's probably slightly too large for me, but I think it looks cool large. This watch has a stainless steel bead blasted case with 200 meters water resistance. Inside this watch is the ETA 2824-2 automatic movement giving you 38 hours of power reserve. Something that I love about Zen is that they just tell you what the movement is. They don't try to sell it as something that it's not. This is a great workhorse movement, easy to service, absolutely nothing to hide about an ETA movement. This watch has a pilot's bezel with minute ratcheting, meaning it is bi-directional, unlike a dive watch, and it is made for counting down. If you are anything like me, this feature has mostly been used to time my oven lasagnas. Pretty alpha. I don't really have many complaints about this watch, and the complaints that I do have 
are different than my usual complaints. So usually I would find a 3.30 date window jarring, but for some strange reason, it doesn't bother me. But one big complaint I have, and it is an ECM distinctive, is the crown location. Nothing in it. I just aesthetically don't like it. <laughs> it might be the exact thing that you love about this watch, but I just find it annoying when I'm trying to set the watch or wind the movement. I don't know. I just find it awkward. It's a minor complaint, but that's what we watch enthusiasts do. For such a young brand, Zinn has a robust history and heritage. Founded by German Helmut Zinn in 1961, Zinn was a former World War II pilot and instructor for blind fighting. That's as specific as I'd like to be about that. Not because I think Germans in World War II were very tip top, but I don't know. I didn't know the guy. I wasn't there. I don't know his personal beliefs. There was a lot of Germans who were conscripted to the war. But I think we can all agree. Nazis? Not good. Zinn used his knowledge of flying and aviation to make navigation clocks and pilot chronographs, with pilot watches still being a hallmark of the brand to this day. Zinn has always been one to push limits, innovate, and deliver rugged, purposeful watches. This EZM F3 has loads of niche specifications like AR dehumidifying technology, keeping your watch free from fogging, which is also what the AR on the dial is referring to, magnetic field protection up to 100 gauss or mil gauss, and low pressure resistant. I could gush about this watch all day long, but when it comes down to it, the EZM is just such a cool Zin to own. It is functional, reliable, good looking, and just everything I want from a watch. I've really been surprised by how much I like this watch and the build quality that has gone into it. Looking at the price, on the strap, this watch costs 1650 euros, and on the bracelet, it is 1860 euros. I feel like I'm gonna sound like a used car salesman. I'm so sorry if I'm gushing too much about this and seeming insincere. Um, I just really, truly enjoyed every second of wearing this watch and I'm not feeling very incentivized to give it back. The price on this watch feels like way too low. Or maybe this is how watches are supposed to be priced. The build quality feels comparable to a Tudor, maybe even slightly more refined than a Tudor. Oh my God, the, the Tudor cult, they're gonna come for me. It's one of those daily wear kinds of watches. You can just do it all in this watch. And honestly, if you're looking with something with just a bit more charm and character to it, this is one I'd possibly choose over a Rolex. Anyways, guys, these are just some of my thoughts. As always, I want to hear what you guys think about Zinn and more specifically, what you think about the EZM 3F. Tell us everything in those comments down below. Um, and until next time. Bye, guys. Hit him with the Patreon song. Ooh, 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 Patreon song. This is like a Backstreet Boys song. Ooh, 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 it's the Patreon song. Ah, the Patreon song. Ah, thank you. Pope to your patrons. <laughs>